The Astronauts is the first science fiction novel by Polish writer Stanislaw Lem published as a book, in 1951. To write the novel, Lem received advance payment from publishing house Sutelnik. The book became an instant success and was translated into several languages. This success convinced Lem to switch to the career of a science fiction author. The Astronauts, written for the youth, is set in the communist utopian future. To get it published under the communist regime in Poland, Lem had to insert frequent references to the ideals of communism. Decades later, Lem declared about the astronauts, everything is so smooth and balanced, among the heroes we have a positive Russian character and a sweet Chinese, naivete is present on all pages of this book. The hope that in the year 2000 the world would be wonderful is indeed very childish. The inability to ever understand alien civilizations, a frequent theme of Lem's future works, appears here for the first time. The introduction describes the fall of the Tunguska meteorite and the subsequent expedition of Leonid Kulik. The hypothesis about the crash of a spaceship is mentioned. Fast forward to the year 2003. Communism has emerged as the worldwide form of government and humankind, freed from oppression and chaos, is engaged in gigantic engineering projects such as irrigation of the Sahara. Construction of a hydro-energetic plant over the Strait of Gibraltar, and the ability to control the climate. The latest project is to thaw the Antarctic and Arctic regions by artificial nuclear-powered sun circling above. During the preparation of earthworks in the Tunguska area, a strange object is found and later identified as an extraterrestrial data record. The record contains details about the travel of a spaceship from Venus and the data record ends with an ominous message, after two rotations the Earth will be radiated. When the radiation intensity drops to half. The great movement will commence. Scared the government of the Earth decides to send a newly built spaceship, the Cosmocrater to Venus. After a few weeks, the international crew of the Cosmocrater arrives on Venus but finds no traces of life, only strange, half-destroyed technological structures like the White Globe, a giant anti-gravity device. It turns out that Venus was inhabited by a warlike civilization planning to occupy the Earth. However, before they managed to destroy life on Earth, they themselves perished in a nuclear civil war, leaving only ruins of cities and scattered electronic records. In 1960 the film Der Schweigen Stern, based on the novel, was shot in East Germany and was directed by Kurt Meitzig. Lem was extremely critical of the film. In 1962 a shortened, 79-minute version of the film was released in the United States by Crown International Pictures. It was dubbed into English and carried the title First Spaceship on Venus. Thanks for watching.